For this video, we'll be teaching you how to design party hats using free mobile apps. You can also use Photoshop, but this tutorial is for those who don't have Photoshop or prefer using apps like Canva instead. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell button. Go to Google and search for a high-resolution party hat template. Thank you to First Palette for sharing this template. Now open Background Eraser app. Open the Party Hat template and delete all the blank areas and text until all that's left is the outline of the party hat. Go to Canva, click on the plus sign on the lower right, and choose Custom Size. I'll be printing on A4 photo paper, so I'll be setting the width to 8.25 inches and the height to 11.75 inches. Adjust the width and height depending on the size of the paper that you will be using. Click on Uploads, then Upload Media. Upload the paper hat outline. Enlarge the template. I added some lines which will serve as guide when I want to center my design. Just click on the plus sign again, go to Elements, and search Lines. With the two lines in place, I can now rotate and move the template around to make sure it's centered and straight. Go to Google and search for elements that you want to use for your party hat. For our theme, I'm going to download a pink shield clip art, sky, and a glitter background. Go back to Canva and upload the pictures. Upload sky and the glitter background. Delete the background of the shield clip art using Background Eraser app. I clicked on Auto Feature, then deleted the background. I zoomed the photo and saw some traces left of the background color. It was not yet perfectly clean, so I chose the Magic Eraser feature, increased the Magic Expectant size to the maximum, and started cleaning the clip art. Mm -hmm. 
Once done, upload it to Canva. Rotate the shield and place it in the center. Move it to the back by going to position and clicking on backward. Let's resize Sky and move it to the side so we can put the celebrant's age as well. Click on the plus sign again, choose elements, and search for a number 4 frame. Click on your chosen frame. Position the frame to your liking and then drag the glitter background over it. I don't think the pink glitter background works well with the pink shield, so let's replace it with a silver glitter background instead. Download the glitter background from Google, upload it to Canva, then drag it over to the number frame. Go to Adjust and increase the brightness for a lighter shade of gray. I want the number to have a shadow so I selected the number frame, duplicated it, and changed or replaced the color to gray. Now let's add the celebrant's name. Click the plus sign again and choose Text. What I love about Canva is that they already have cool existing designs you can choose from. Once you've chosen a design, just click on Edit to change the text. I also changed the color to match the shield. Another cool Canva feature is that an assortment of colors is already available based on the other elements that you already have. Because we have several elements that need to be moved, let me teach you how to group two or more elements. Click and hold the first element and then tap on the second element. Now that we've selected the two, click Group. Now click and hold Sky, then tap on the number 4 and the pink shield. We can then resize and move these elements at the same time. Move and resize the celebrant's name. For the background, I found this cute paw print pattern from Google and uploaded it to Canva. If you want a lighter shade of pink like me, you can go to Adjust and increase the brightness. Enlarge the pattern. Make sure you are using a high-resolution photo so your design won't be blurry. Move its position to the back. Delete the dotted lines. If this is for personal use only, you can already proceed to saving the file and printing it. But if you're planning to sell your designs, I suggest that you continue to watch the next steps. Save the file and open it in Background Eraser app. Erase the background using the auto feature. To delete the paw prints, tap on the BG color so you can see the paw prints better before manually deleting them.
Create a new file in Canva using the size of the paper that you want and open the party hat. Enlarge the party hat, then you can also add some text and your business logo.